Now here we have a lovely example of the brecciation which typically takes place at the Tenke Fungurumu mine. Young dolomite, the fracture zone would be lengthwise, so almost a straight lengthwise brecciation. And this would have been a section um, which, which basically came out like this. And then you'd have the crystallization running across it that way. Tiny cobalt and calcite crystals are... Um, calcite colored pink by cobalt inclusions which in itself is quite quite odd there you'll see the rain is a vein is running through the um, the young dolomite um, which is quite typical to the deposits of tenke so it's as if these rocks may have broken up at some stage and recrystallized and the the cobalt and calcite in some sections was almost the glue holding them together Quite, quite lovely. Of course, this happened in nature. We're not talking about super glue and the likes. We're actually talking about what happened in nature over over a, a multitude of years. Uh, we always uh, uh, throw the term millions and billions years around uh, quite comfortable, yet we, we, we tend to forget that nobody was around at that time. All the way from the Tenke Fungurumo mine, Katanga Copper Crescent, uh, uh, formerly Shabaza here in the Congo, quite lovely.